Hey guys, it's Reese from Reese, and now you see my face, so that's kind of cool. So today we're going to talk about running Docker containers and building Docker containers in Home Assistant. So Docker containers are awesome because they allow you to easily package uh, different applications and have them be isolated from your like operating system. That way you don't have to worry about what are you running it on. It just always runs the same way, and that's pretty awesome. So we're going to talk about building and running them inside of Home Assistant. So let's get started. So first you gotta go to the supervisor and you gotta go to the add-on store and search for the add-on called Portainer. It lets you uh, install Docker images easily. So we're gonna let that install real quick. There it goes. Uh, you're gonna wanna turn off protection mode and if you want it to show up here, you're gonna hit show in sidebar. I like enabling auto update, but uh, some people definitely don't like doing that. I do. And then you'll hit start. And once that, that's started up, check the logs for errors. No errors. Cool. And then you're also going to want to make sure you have the SSH and web terminal add on. One thing there is you're going to want to turn off protection mode. That way you can access Docker. Since we're going to start off with building add ons, let's go to our terminal. We're going to make a directory called iperf server. That's my uh, Docker image that I'm going to make today. Usually you'd probably git clone it uh, from someone else's image, but I'm just going to quickly make one myself. We're going to cd into that directory, and then we're going to make a file called the Docker file. That's important. And then I'm going to use vim, but you don't have to use vim if you don't want to. Basically this file says from Alpine Linux, add iperf and then whenever it starts up run this command iperf 3-s for making a server and then we'll write and quit the file now we will build the uh, image so we'll just run docker build dash t iperf server and then just a dot for signifying this directory right here done successfully built and successfully tagged it cool now we'll go to Portainer. So the Portainer icon looks like this little Docker logo. You'll go to Primary. You will go over here on your left and go to Containers. So we're going to add a container. Then we're going to hit Add Container. Then I'm going to call it iperf. And then I'm going to call it iperf server. And it's going to autofill if I already have it downloaded. I'm not going to pu always pull the image because it's a local image. But... Uh, usually you would probably do that. Then I will say manual network port publishing. So the iperf port here is 5201 and the container port is 5201. If you want to change the iperf port, you would just make it here like 5202 and the host, not the container, the host. That way it's mapped to something else, but we're just going to leave it as 5201. And then you can set your volumes if you need to add like a config directory. I don't. Uh, here you'd also set your environment variables. Then what we will do here is we will click deploy the container. Okay, it's running. So now I'm going to go to my terminal. And then I'm going to open up the terminal. And I'm just going to run iperf3-c. And then I'm going to specify my home assistant and it connected and yep there it is we're done i got some good transfer speed 160 157 megabytes so that's been a look at how to uh run docker containers and build docker containers inside of home assistant hope you enjoy this video uh leave your thoughts in the comments down below like subscribe uh see you in the next video Bye bye